Hey everybody, I'm Alucia. Today we're playing Marathon and it's going to be awesome. We are up to Bob BQ, uh, the first level of reprisal, the third act of the game. The four at this point have re rallied their forces and begun a counterattack against us and with the seeming intention of annihilating everyone on board. Our goal is to save Bob's. I will probably murder most of them and I died already. I'll be right back. And we're back to the beginning of this level, so you can get to watch me slaughter all the four at the very beginning of the level, and probably die again somewhere along the way. This level is actually... this is Act 3. Act 3 is genuinely very hard, especially on the higher difficulties, and I'm not playing on the lowest difficulty this time around, which is what I always played on when I was a kid. I admit it, I was not very good at first-person shooters as a kid. I'm still not very good at first-person shooters, but I try to be as decent as, as I can. This level is another exterminate is another save level. Another level where you have to exterminate all of the aliens and save all of the bobs. Where the uh, ability to get good or bad endings varies. This is one of the levels that definitely has remnants of the idea of split paths in the game. I do not I don't remember if the if the alternate uh, end of level text is implemented for this level or not. But I know that there is alternate end of level text for this level that indicates a different thing happening from what we will probably see. I will talk about that when we get there, at the end of the level. Well, actually I'll probably talk about that just before the end of the level, because the end of the level will teleport me to the next level. And then I'll probably have to kill a bunch of things immediately on arrival, because this point in the game, the game is not pulling punches anymore. So you can pretty much always expect that every level is going to start you in a dangerous situation. Just expect there to be enemies wherever you land. Expect there to be lots of enemies for you to fight wherever you go. Be prepared to spend a lot of ammo and to be very short on ammo for significant portions of this section of the game. There is, it will be, we are still quite a ways from the end of the game. There are 26 levels in this game and this is only like level 10, I think. 27 levels, sorry. I keep forgetting that technically the arrival level, the level I have level, labeled as level 1, is level 0, not level 1. So there are actually 27 levels in the game, including that one. And then there are a bunch of multiplayer levels. I may do my afterwards on one of those multiplayer levels, just to show off the level select sheet and that sort of thing. Anyway, we have a lot of 4 to fight, and a lot more hunters, and a lot of uh, warriors. And that is uh, very, very dangerous. And I'm going to try really hard not to die until I can find a save point on this level. Because every time I die, I have to go back to the previous level right now and replay the ending parts of the previous level. Which I've already replayed like three or four times to show you all the secrets in it. I'm pretty sure there are secrets in this level as well, and I will try to show them off if I can. We will see whether how it goes. You, I'm going to be attempting to show you all of the secrets in the game because the secrets are actually significant to the larger storyline and the way that the game is generally presented. Which is fairly interesting because you would think those sorts of things would be standard, but they aren't actually necessary, strictly speaking, to the plotline of the game. They are just necessary to the world building and uh, setting growth. And I'm killing more bobs that I shouldn't be killing because this, technically I'm supposed to be saving them. But they annoy me so much by standing in the way, and I am evil sometimes. <laughs> uh, yes. Ah! Holy crap, that is a lot of aliens. Here, have some grenades! Yay, grenades! Grenades will save us all! Well, they'll save me, and I'm the only one I care about, so they'll save me all! <laughs> uh, the hunters, if you kill them with grenades, explode. If you are standing near them when you kill them with grenades, they will deal damage to you. So be aware of that and be a little bit careful. Now we have a 2 times healing item, healing place here, which is very useful. And an oxygen restores terminal. Our oxygen restore terminal on this level is a little bit weird. I don't remember if we end up going through a uh, vacuum level shortly after this or not, that we might need that vac uh, oxygen restore for. Uh, we'll find out when we get there, because I don't remember all of the levels in the game very super detailed, as it has been of quite a long time since I played them, and when I replayed the game more recently, I didn't always get all the way through. I haven't even seen a single terminal on this level. I know there are some, and there are places we are uh, supposed to go and things, but I haven't seen anywhere to talk to anyone, which is kind of frustrating. Uh, we have cleared this room, we have cleared these... That is a tunnel we can get into through some other means. We've already cleared out down here. 
So where have we not gone? Oh, we haven't gone over there. Okay. Let's go back up this way and see if we can go this way. Uh, oh, there are some bobs in a place that is behind a wall over here, which means there may be a hidden room. And it's not triggered through any of these, just hitting tab on any of these walls. So if there's a secret room there, then it comes from somewhere else. And I will try to show it to you as I will with pretty much every other secret. Now there is a great big hole here with a thing at the bottom of it. I hope I have not just gotten myself trapped. Aha, I have not. That I believe will crush you into the ceiling if you're not quick to get off of it. And you need to ride it to get to the place over there. And as you can see, that crushes into the ceiling for quite a while. And I believe this is one of the first ones we've seen that does not rebound. So I'm pretty sure this one will kill you if you're stuck on it when it hits the ceiling. I hope not to have to show you that as I'm going to get off right here and go this way. We are down. Ah! Suddenly Hunter! Out of nowhere! Freaking Hunter. What the heck? I turned the sound off somehow. That's weird. I must have done it when I was fiddling with the map. I'm sorry, folks. You have gotten no in-game sound for, for some of this level. Maybe all of this level. Uh, it's hard for me a little bit to tell because my vocal... It, because I can hear myself talking and myself talking through the microphone, which means it's very difficult for me to tell whether or not what level the uh, in-game sounds are at relative to me. Uh, as a result, my, that's why it took me so long to fix the in-game sounds, was because I was sitting here recording for like four levels, and it was only when I listened to it in post that I realized that it was kind of difficult to hear me over the uh, in-game sounds in places. And here we have a bunch of hunters, which we're going to kill with, uh, well, not a bunch, but a couple of hunters. Uh, the hunters also explode, I believe, if you kill them with overcharged plasma bolts. Not if you kill them with standard plasma bolts, just overcharged ones. So this level, it's another, whoa, another room full of enemies, hooray. You will get a lot of this. This is what this game primarily consists of, is rooms full of enemies that you have to kill. Which is fine. I mean, it is an old person style first-person shooter, and that's most of what they consisted of. And they are very, it's very competent at being that. But it is to be aware that you will probably see me doing these things fairly commonly. Uh, I'm going to restore my health. Uh, we picked up a little tiny bit of ammo. There's a ton more of ammo for this, so I'm going to grab some more. As you can tell, we have way too much ammo of some things and way not enough ammo of other things. Like our flamethrower has almost no ammo because you shouldn't normally have a flamethrower at this point. Now you can shoot this with a charged up plasma bolt. That raises this ladder, the bridge between the two that we started off standing on. That's actually where we teleported in. That raises that platform. We need to go that way eventually. We are not going that way just yet because I wanna see what's down this way. This raises another bridge and we can go this way instead. Uh, this is, I'm not sure if this, this door does not open apparently. So there is a bunch of bobs over there in behind, whoa. Those guys were an ambush, apparently. Uh, shoot more grenades! Shoot more grenades! Shoot more grenades! And I got myself killed. And I still haven't found a save point on this level, folks, so I will be right back. <sighs> hey, everybody, we're back again. I'm back on this level again. I'm not sure whether or not I'll show you me playing all the way through it again, because it's just going to be me doing the same thing I already did twice. But it may I may put some of this in. Uh, the problem is that every time I die, I go back to the previous level because I still haven't found a save point here. Which means I have to run through that level again, teleport to this level again, and finish and get back to where I was, which is quite time consuming. It's very frustrating. It's one of the few things about this game that I find really genuinely quite frustrating is the save point system. It's very old school save point system. I mean, like a lot of first person shooters did this sort of thing or just sent you back to the uh, beginning of whatever level you were playing when you died. And I'm already down to like a third health. If I die again, I definitely will not be showing me getting back to where I was because it's just going to take way too much time. As it is, I can just run through this level again ah, and fail horribly at it for your amusement. <laughs> More grenades. Never enough grenades. I'm sorry. I, I still really love grenades. It's just, it's one of those things that happened in old school first person shooters, especially this one, that I have not seen in any reasonably modern first person shooter at all. And I love them and it makes me very sad that nobody does this anymore. I sort of understand why, because there's this big push for, like, being realistic 
in first person shooters, even though they're completely ridiculously not realistic. Uh, but there's no like, there's no reason they couldn't put these things in those games, and I really wish more of them would. They make the game, to me, a lot more fun. The fact that I can just, like, grenade down a hallway and kill a lot of things, it's just, this is really enjoyable to me. These ga this game is extremely good at being what it wants to be, which is a very old school first person shooter. If anybody knows some of these that have been released in recent years that are as quality as this, please let me know, because I will gladly go and play them. I may or may not do series on them, but I will gladly go and play them. Uh, and we are back to recharging our health and health. Our health and air. Our health and health! Yes, that's logical. Actually, that totally is logical. That's what we're doing. We're restoring our health and more health. It's times two health. That's totally the way times two health works. Uh, yeah, I'm bad at talking sometimes. I'm sorry, people. I'm also sorry if I come off being too loud. This is just my, this is my normal speaking voice, so <laughs> I project a lot. Uh, I've been told I should give speeches in front of large crowds because I would never use a mic never need a microphone. It'd self save people so much money. And apparently I can't not hit anything right now. Ugh. What am I running into? Backing away. I must be backing into the wall or something. I didn't think there was that I was close enough to back into the wall there. Yep. Side step. Forward to shoot. Another forward to shoot. Yeah, you spend a lot of the time in this game doing fairly samey things in some senses, but the way that they present the game really makes that acceptable. Whereas in a lot of first person shooters, I find kind of boring after a couple of hours of just running through corridors doing the same thing over and over. Like in this game, there's a big complicated plot line that keeps making all the things you do matter. And it was one of the first games to do that, and it's actually still, in my mind, one of the best games doing that. The more modern games go for a much more scripted feel, so you don't get this kind of gameplay with that kind of, like, here's what you should be doing. You get a very different style of gameplay, very heavy on uh, showing you, like, telling you exactly what you should be doing and making sure that you cannot screw it up, you can't get lost, that there's really only one direction to go at any given time. And that sort of makes me sad. There isn't any reason that they need to do that to make a strong, interesting, compelling storyline. You can have this sort of open level and still do a really strong storyline. And the games like this and Bioshock and a few other games of the that style definitely show that the kind of gameplay goes very well with a strong storyline if you have good writing and good uh, world design. So it makes me a little bit sad that many companies don't bother doing that anymore, and I don't really necessarily blame them. I imagine that this kind of game design is a lot more risky, because when you have a tightly scripted thing, you don't have to worry so much about people getting lost or the game getting off track. And you can go for a, like, more, try to go for a more serious real life kind of feel. But serious real life kind of feel, while important, while good for a game, is not necessarily the only kind of game you can play, nor the only kind of story you can tell with this sort of game. And in fact, there are many non standard sort of stories you can tell with the first person shooter that you have difficulty telling with many other game styles. Like, it's much harder to tell this sort of story. There is a save point over here, so I'm going this way this time. Uh, with a first-person shooter than people admit. And I fell down. I'll be right back. And we're back again. Sorry about that, folks. It's not deliberate. I just suck at this game. <laughs> I did tell you before, I've never claimed to be good at this game, just sort of semi-competent at it. And now we have a save point after we've cleared most of the level. This level is one of the more frustrating for that reason. And as I was saying, uh, people seem to assume that because first-person shooters have so much violence and guns and all that in them, that that's all you can ever do with them. That the only story you can tell about them is like, dude in war time, fight evil dudes. I are marine, kill things. But this game, you are a spa essentially a space marine, but the fact that you're a space marine is never really that central to the plotline beyond the fact that it's you that has to fight these guys. Like, the main storyline of this is actually about the supporting cast, not your main character. Like, there's drama in this, and this part is really good. 
But the primary storyline, like the serious, this is legitimately story-driven parts of the game, are about the AIs and the ongoing struggles between them in the computer system and the reason why the four are here and that sort of thing. You can take this, this is a very down-to-earth, rather uh, standard sort of uh, sci-fi story in a lot of ways, in sort of the same vein as like Alien. But it's not necessarily the same sort of story that one might expect in, like, They're everywhere. They're many everywhere. other games of this era. Grenades, more grenades. Have some more grenades! Yay, grenades, grenade grenades. Ah, uh, now I've got hunters shooting into this hallway. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Yeah, that is a super hunter thing. Uh, there are different ranks of aliens in much the same way that there are different colors of fighters, there are different colors of hunters and troopers and all that. It is a very old school RPG, which means that yes, it is in the style of the other old school art, uh, first person shooters rather, it has recycled alien enemy models, which is not surprising. Making enemy models is kind of expensive and at the era that this was made in, storage space was also kind of at a premium and the like. So a lot of their stuff is just the same thing with different colors. I really don't have a problem with this. Some people claim that it's awful, but personally, I don't really mind. Uh, I'm going to have to go back again, so we'll cut ahead to where I go back to where I am, where I was. I'll be right back. And we're back again. As you can see, we were on the other side of that raising platform bridge that we were just across to fight aliens on. Uh, we're going to go this way this time because this is the last area I think we haven't been into and I'm going to miss that and going to have to go and redo that again. I'll be right back again. Hey everybody, we're back again and hopefully this time we will not fail at this. Ugh. No! Ah! <sighs> I'll be back again and we're back yet again let's try this again and hopefully less fail at it this time and we're back yet again trigger this try to get on that raising thing then get off of it onto here and finally succeed now i just need to not die before i find a save point or finish, ugh, finish the level, so I don't have to do that again. I would really like to never have to do that again. That would be wonderful. And now we have ah, more grenades. It's still fun. I'm sorry, I know, I've made that joke so many times. It's still one of my favorite things to do in the game. And we're gonna try this a couple of times. These will crush you if you don't get off of them fast enough. I know that for sure. So you actually have to be kind of fast at this because you can die here quite easily. So I read off, I wait for it to get high enough, I get off, I wait for it to get high enough, I get off, I wait for this one to take me all the way up, I open fire on these two hunters, don't die, and we get to a uh, terminal at the very end of this level. This is the only terminal I believe we've seen anywhere in this level. There is a heal point early in the level, which I should probably go back and see, see so that I can get back all my health. But at the moment, I really don't want to have to go through that level again. Even though if I die... No, you know what? I will do that off camera. I will be right back. All right, and we're back to the end of the level. I failed that jump another two or three times trying to get back here. That is probably the most annoying jump in the game. Now let's read the end terminal. <clears throat> Incoming message from Leela. You let too many crew members die. You have failed in your mission. I was unable to gain any useful information from the rescued. We must head off the fourth threat to the engineering section. I'm going to send you to the primary re tick count. First thought number 49. You must clear up the area of all aliens before they destroy the primary reactors. Message interrupted. And here we are on shake before using. I... I've been Alucia. This has been awesome, if very frustrating in places. I will see you all next time for the next level. Have a great day.